Hey, how's it going everybody? Todd Nock here. Uh, so glad you could join me for today's art live stream, the first one for 2020. Uh, I've been pretty busy here through the holidays and uh, starting the new year. Um, so glad to be able to get a chance to come and live stream with you and hang out and uh, we'll put some colors on this Superboy. Uh, thanks for being so patient waiting for me to finish this. So here we have the finished digital inks um, and uh, you can see that, um, yeah, we are ready to add colors. So hopefully you got a chance to watch the penciling and digitally, uh, digital ink Thanks, videos. Man. Oops, sorry about that, gang. Um, hopefully you had a chance to see those, those videos. And um, if you haven't, they're still here on my channel, so be sure to check them out. So let's get right into the inks here. I'm just gonna do some simple inks. I've already created my color folder here on the right-hand side and created my first layer. I'm gonna call that my uh, flats, the flat color. So what we're going to start with here, I'm going to change the background of my canvas here to a um, to a different color, so it's not white. So it's easy for me to see when I'm adding white. So right now we're going to just drop in just one of the color, just put one flat color here for Superboy, and we'll kind of go with this shade of gray since his jacket and. Everything in fact, we'll just fill in the whole canvas. Then I'm going to go to inks here, take my magic wand tool, select everything around Superboy, and this little part of the buckle there, stuff that would be the background. I'm going to expand this by one or two pixels here, and then go to my flat color, and then just delete. Now I'm going to use this icon over here on the right hand side, little lock with the grid, and I'm just gonna lock that out. So now when I come in with other colors like red, it's only gonna color inside that portion. It's not gonna go outside the lines. So it helps to make sure all your ink lines are closed off so that when you select with the, the background with the magic wand, it doesn't go inside the line art. So get rid of that. And let's start putting in this more specific colors here. So I'll try to answer questions as I go. And um, apologize if I can't respond to everyone's question, but I'll try to respond to as many as I'm able to. We're just going to kind of color this in marker style. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Thanks for your comments there. I like doing this type of coloring for one, for fun, and two, especially if I'm doing a um, character designs or character sketches, things like that. So we're just going to do the flat color, drop in some shadow, should we have time to do some shadow, and if there's time, we'll add some, some highlights as well. So I'm just using the preset colors here in Clip Studio Paint. Clip Studio Paint is the program we've been using here. It's a great program, I really enjoy it. I use it for my pro comic work, um, as well as stuff for fun. It reads a lot uh, like Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop skills, they will translate pretty, pretty easily. Zoom in here and put some color in his eyes. First, the whites of the eyes. I'm just using a, what type of pen, pen am I using here? I'm using a, the Inker Gnib pen from uh, Frendon. I bought these off of uh, Frendon, these, these brushes, this series of brushes. They've, they really, I really like them a lot. Grab a shade of blue here for the irises.
do this one here. I need to clean up. All right, so let's uh, color these uh, step ups. I'm on the wrong layer. Go to the ink layer. Using the magic wand, I'm going to highlight these studs on his jacket, and that little buckle on his shoulder, and the buckle here on his belt. And we're going to expand the line art there. Or the not the line art, but the marching ants, and we're gonna fill it in with a lighter shade of gray. Oops, for some reason my I lost my studs. Let's just redo those. That's because I wasn't holding the shift key down, so it had let go of the ones I had done. So, oops. Can't color that on the ink layer. I made a mistake. Nice thing about working in a program like this, you make a mistake, that control Z is going to get you out of some, some scrapes, some problems there. Scrapes is probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. Let's color the S. And his pants. Now this is the nice thing of having closed off line art. I can just highlight them. It makes spotting the uh, or dropping in the flaps a bit more time efficient. Right, got some smaller. Oh wait, I forget his gloves are red too. This gives me the initial. Initial, got to make sure I have that shift key held down well so I can select everything, expand it. My red, go to my color layer, and hit fill. I'm going to take my pen tool here and hit all the little spots that were that the, the wand tool could not select. And this is where having that layer lock on is really nice because I can just scribble right over all the parts that were missed and not worry about going outside of the line art. Really, really, really helpful tool. Now there's one, yeah, there's one little spot right there on this hip. Actually, we need to delete this part of the background. All righty, let's hit some yellows now. Let me go inside these parts of the S. What else is yellow? Oh, his. Oops. Part of it. His belt. And these little parts of his boot belt. I think that's all the yellow we need. All right, and now for the blues, this is his chest here, and I like to expand just so that the uh, color goes up underneath the line. How does this shade of blue? That's a bit too bright for my taste. About this shade of blue. Uh, 
don't like that one. Now that's the same color as his eyes, but I like that one. Make sure there's no red showing through, or make sure all the color gets up underneath those tiny, tinier lines. Yeah, we got those little buckles on his disco belts, as we called them. Disco had been dead for a long time when Superboy was this Superboy was created, but we still nicknamed them the Disco Belts. One part where I need to fix the because see you can see the here on his belt this one little broken line allowed the red to go inside of there. All right. Let's see, I think I might want to make his collar here a different shade of gray, maybe. Just so it stands off as different from his jacket. So maybe a little darker. Yeah, you know what? I think I like that. I think I like that. I think that worked. That's working for me. Oh, we got, let's see, we got his earring here. We need to drop in a little color for. Now, I get this a lot. This is common, common question. People ask, how can Superboy have a pierced ear if he is Kryptonian? I think we discussed this in other, in each of the other videos, the penciling and inking videos. So it's your first time to join me here. This is why uh, Superboy can have an earring, is he's not full Kryptonian. He's half Kryptonian, half human. And um, he did not complete the cloning process in, during the reign of the Superman. So um, his powers were not fully uh, developed. So thus he was not fully invulnerable like Superman. So he is able to have a pierced ear. That is why. Superboy has a pierced ear. So let's see. So now I want to add some, um, I like to add a little rosy color to the nose at the very least. So let's see, we'll just take, I think we'll try a pencil tool here. Size 20 nib. Just going to drop in on a separate layer. I like to use a separate layer. Little base color here. I'm going to take the smudgy tool here, bump that up to maybe a 50. Just going to kind of smudge it in here. Kind of smudge it towards the um, into the skin there. Looks a bit looks a bit overpowering here at the moment. But with the smudge tool I can lighten it up. Let's pump this up to a hundred to make it a little faster. So I can use this smudge tool to kind of lighten it up a bit. So it's not so overpowering. I'm gonna come in with more of the shadow here. We'll get some more. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna refer this down to that layer. Um, At, let's call this rosy. So I know it's for the rosy colors. Um, go with the airbrush tool here, 50 or maybe 80. Add some uh, rosiness to his cheeks. Just selecting here the skin tone layer or the skin tone section so that I don't have the pink going up into his eyeballs. So I don't have to clean that up. So just, just coloring across here just a bit. A little bit in the chin, maybe a little bit in the bottom lip there. I'm gonna take the smudge tool again. I'm just going to kind of go over it just to kind of lighten things up, blend it 
blend it all together so it's not so super pink, it's not so super overpowering. Kind of really blending here through the in between the nose and the outer part of the cheek just to really lighten that up, create a nice gradation from one side of the face to the other. As you can see, it starts to break up there a little bit, a little bit through the chin. Rolling up from the nose, up the bridge of the nose to the forehead there. You can try going down a little bit as well. Pull a little more, pull a little bit more of this pink out towards the outer part of his cheeks. And that, that'll, that'll work for now. Um, so now let's create a another layer. This one's going to be the shadow layer. I'm going to uh, use this little refer. Uh, I'm clipping to the layer below, so it's all clipping to this flat layer. Um, I'm going to set this to multiply. I'm going to drop it down to about you know 35, 40, somewhere around there. I'm going to use this. Right now we'll use this shade of purple. And let's go to my, um, I'm going to use my Inker Leaky Rough Opaque brush. It's going to give me a kind of a nice textured sort of look. I'm going to give this a whirl. Come in here and we'll start with the, the face. The shadow, lighten that up just a little more. We're going to go up underneath the slit curl, underneath the hair here. This could be real simple shading, almost like cell shading for uh, animation. So up underneath the eyes, our light source, generally, I, in, as you'll see in my illustrations, especially for something like this, I'm just going to bring it in from above. So I'm going to put the shadows on the underneath parts, things that would be covered by his his hair, his clothing, whatever it is. And inside the ear there like this. Just any place where the light wouldn't be hitting the opposite side for the most part. Maybe a little bit underneath the uh, bottom part of the eyelid here, just a little bit. So as you see, I didn't draw in the bridge of his nose, but I can use the shading to convey that bridge part of his nose. Same here with his uh, jawline. I'm using the color, a little underneath his chin, definitely underneath that bottom lip. So I'm sculpting out everything that I didn't do with line with color. And it helps convey that shape and form to his face. And, you know, we'll do this similar with the musculature and all that good stuff. The nice thing about this, if you put in some shadow you don't like, you can always just erase it out. We're just going to go through the whole the whole section here and Just give them shape and form with color, with shading. 
of the shading colors here. Like underneath his collar, the underneath parts of his arm. Working on the uh, his left arm right now. Onto the left glove with the cuff with overlap. I always think, what's going to overlap something else? Each bit, each section. And a lot of it's been trial and error. So if you realize, oh, that part shouldn't have overlapped, you can always, like I said, here in digital, makes it easy to correct. Just wipe it out and try again. Control, exit, delete it out. Back to the jacket. Onto the buckle here. His jacket would overlap his torso here, working here on the uh, left hand side of his jacket, still, still all left hand side. Then, kind of shape out his pecs coming down the center here, coming to that center pec line. Gives us a sense of where that center is with, with shading. In the, here on the color stage rather than drawing a line down the center. It's okay to draw a line down the center, but I like to have a nice clean S, but then define the pectoral muscle with color and shading. So the S stays clean with the line art. Appreciate everyone joining in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all that ju might just now be joining me. Hope you all are having a great, great Saturday. to the pants area still working the left hand side and center for the most part right now get some shading here in the thighs really round things out a lot of shading here on the the left calf muscle and boot because they're further in the background things are definitely overlapping more come back up here to the right hand side of the collar so it's, what's fun about this is just it's kind of like coloring with with markers here in a sense Just bring all of that marker experience I have to just the digital aspect. So just coming down the right hands, down his right hand side. Working on the, the leg here. Back over to the arm again. It's really this inside of the part of the arm is where I'm putting the heavier part of the shadow a little bit here on the outside through all the the black chunks I I penciled and inked in. Get 
a lot of all shadowed out there. Now back to that right leg. Not as much shadow on the, the thigh itself. I mean some, definitely want to sculpt out those muscles. But I'm going to get much heavier with the shadow as we move further down the leg, down the shin, away from Superboy to help create that sense of depth. The leg is further away from us, the sh less light is getting to it, so it's going to going to look more shadowy. We're going to have more shadow on it. So a little bit through his hair here. I want to try something here. I'm not sure if this is going to be what I want. So I want to change the color of his hair a little bit. So I'm moving that same gray that we used a little bit more towards the blue angle. Let's go back to my GNIB brush. Just because I don't want his hair to be the same color. In fact, actually. Same, I don't want it to be the same color as his jacket. To give it more of that Superman bluish gray. Yeah, just kind of differentiates his hair from his jacket. All right, so let's go back above that sh that shadow layer. Going to create another layer. Going to call that one highlight. I'm going to set this layer to color dodge, and then I can go in and draw in all the highlights. Let's see. Go back to my the leaky rough opaque pen that I have been using. Let's see which color do I want to use now? Whatever color I use, it's not going to be, it's going to, I don't know the science of it, the programming technology words <laughs> for it, but uh, it creates a, a different color. It, it creates the effect that we need for highlight. So even though I'm using a gray, as you can see there outside the line, I did not clip it to the lower low layers, but here we'll unclip to show you. See here on the in the background, it's it's gray, but when I colored it over Superboy's hair, or over, oh, I'm on the ink layer. I wonder when I color over different parts of what how it reacts with the different co uh, over the different colors in this layer creates the highlight color that I need, for lack of better terms. Still learning a lot about colorings. This is still. Still fairly new to me. Uh, still, actually, I should say quite new. Um, so a lot of experimentation going on for me here. Let's see. I'm going to go to an even darker shade here for some highlights on the face. Actually, before I do that, I want to go into the shadow layer here. And I want to go to my clear color. I'm going to wipe out that shadow over the little highlight that I have in his eyes. Don't want that shadow overlapping that. And I see I need to add some more white to his eyes where I got things a little misshapen. Okay. 
So back to where what we were working on. Highlight on his nose there. A little bit over there on the cheekbones. A little bit on his lips. Or his bottom lip, I should say. Here in his eyeballs are the irises. Just selecting different shades of gray here. The lighter the gray, the closer to white I will get. So it, um, just to bring some life to his eyes there. Let's see. Back to a medium shade of gray here. For the earring. Get some little white highlight on each of the studs here. Or not quite a white highlight, but a lighter shade of highlight. Let's run down the trim of his jacket. So the light is hitting. Highlight is where the light is hitting. So it's going to be on the top portions or upper portions of anything that we are working on, working with here. So the upper part of the, of the trim of his collar of his jacket. For the most part, you know. Oops, can't read that. Pull this down through the dark part of his super collar. Now let's go down the center of his jacket. Using the ink lines that I laid down as a guide. Remember how if you saw my pencil and inking videos, kind of showed you how I come up with these shades. So they're kind of a guide for my colors. This outer part here, we're really going to put in a lot of this highlight. On the outside here. I have the right shade here for the for the S. This is going to work great. On each knuckle here on his left hand. over here for his right. You can experiment with how you want to create your shapes. Run a highlight down the center of his leg here. Still using this medium shade of gray here, kind of a warmish gray. The outsides of his little boots little because they're further away from us.
a little bit here on the inner inside of these disco belts, maybe running along the top of the belt, a little top ridge you see that I've drawn in there. I'm going to go to the actual white, put some really white, bright highlights on these little metal parts. Back to my gray, that warm gray I've been using. Run a little white highlight across the tops of the that belt. I'm going to do a little reflected light here on the this inner side. Um, inside of his jacket sleeve. So I'm using a slightly darker cool gray. So that it just creates a bit of a kind of a sense of a reflected light. It might be bouncing up from below him. A little bit that here on the underside of his of the glove cuffs, maybe his knuckles. Maybe this outer part of his left calf. Just a little bit here. Still still looks darker than the highlight area, but it just kind of gives us a little more, a little more shape. Maybe run this down the inside, the shadow sides of his boots, just creating a little bit more dimension. Oops, I forgot to finish out the rest of his abs here. Don't need a lot. This one, oops, and, and this trim here. Sometimes I'll Color something and realize, oh, I completely forgot an area. Go back to that darker cool gray here. Putting a little bit underneath his pecs here again for that reflected light. A little smaller, wider highlight here on the nose. Okay, now what I want to do is um, let's go to our background layer and let's drop in some sort of some sort of some sort of background, something. Let's do something. Um, Going to do a gradation. Um, foreground to transparent, black, top to bottom. Now we can't, we're, we're going to do something to fix that, you know, we can't see his hair because the black is meeting up with his actual hair and can't see things. Let's try some other colors in here. Our bluish green. A little purple coming from this way. Pink one from that way, black again, just kind of creating some colors. Oops, actually, I should save my progress. I did a lot there before hitting save, don't want to lose anything in case we crash. Now, I'm going to go back to my flat layer, I'm going to select it all, 
can expand this by try 10. Create another layer, move it underneath there. Hit some white, hit fill. Get a little white outline around Superboy there. Go back to the highlight layer. I want to add just a little more. One, one, one. I just want to add just a little, a little bit of a lighter highlight to the hair here. You can just go through here and noodle highlights and colors all you want. Experiment, see what works, see what doesn't work. That's an okay part of the process, see what doesn't work. That's how we learn. A little highlight there on his chin, but it's a little we'll just kind of blend that out a little bit with the smudge tool. Same more there on his cheeks, a little bit there on his nose, just so it's not so overpowering. Let's see here. I don't want the white outline around my signature. I should probably change the date. Since it's now no longer November 2019, let's change the date. We're going to change the date since this is new illustration, a new year. Or not new illustration, but the final, the final, final of the illustration here. Change back to my GNIB. Today is, oh, need to go black. On the ink layer, eighteen of January, twenty twenty. There we go. There's there's Superboy, all colored up. Hit save there. Thanks so much for tuning in with me, everybody. I hope you had a good time. Hope you hopefully you learned something. And if you're working digitally, hopefully this gives you some quick tools that you can use to drop some hopefully fairly cool colors on your character designs, flats, shadows, highlights. Um, if you liked your, this video, please be sure to uh, leave a thumbs up and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to hit that subscriber bu button and uh, set the notifications to alert you anytime I start up a live stream and or post a new art video. So good to get to hang out with y'all. So glad we got a chance to draw today. Uh, hope y'all have a great weekend. And um, yeah, keep on drawing, keep having fun. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care.